Hello, thank you for joining me tonight. We are going to be making a card using an upcoming bundle from Stampin' Up. It is called the Stars Are Shining Bundle and I appreciate you joining tonight. I'm going to head, going to flip the camera and get started on the card and show you what we'll be making. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to look at comments while I'm doing a video, so bear with me on that one. And hopefully after the first couple lives I do, I'll have that all figured out and then we'll be able to uh, have interactions while I'm doing this. So if you don't hear me saying hi to you or anything to that um, effect, it's because I'm still trying to figure out Instagram Live, but I want to share this card here tonight. All right, let me go ahead and flip the camera and we will get started. Except I lost the flip again. There we go. All right, I found it. All right, so tonight, perfect. I am going to be showing you this card. Um, it's a very simple card. We're going to do some heat embossing here and heat embossing right here on our sentiment. And this is coming out of the Stars Are Shining set. And I will go ahead and show you that. The bundle includes this stamp set and it's actually a punch bundle which is great punch bundles are usually a very good value and you can do a lot with them um, these stars will you can punch out with this punch on this card today I did not use the punch because it's my first card with this stamp set and usually when I start out with a new stamp set I try and keep it simple and then build from there so we will be heat embossing these stars on our vellum and we're going to do this in silver because I'm actually going to switch up what I made earlier and we're going to be using Misty Moonlight and we're going to be using the diamond paper, the dazzling diamond paper that's in our celebration catalog coming out on the 3rd with Stampin' Up! And this is also celebration paper. You're going to see the other side is our, our really fun penguin set that's going to be coming out and then our piece of vellum, and I will have all the measurements on my blog tomorrow. Uh, something that I do uh, to try and, you know, get as much out of my product as possible is I cut out the middle of layers if they're going to be behind something else. And as you saw in this card, the gold is in the back, so it's covered and you never even know that the middle is cut out. So I will go ahead and start by cutting the card base and we're going to be doing uh, cutting it at four and a quarter and then you will score it at five and a half and that'll give us our card base and then we will move on to heat embossing um, something that I love about the Stampin' Up! products is throughout the year as the annual catalogs are released and other catalogs that come out are released, there's always coordinating products and that means that things like this DSP is in the color of Misty Moonlight which matches our card base. Um, that's one thing that Stampin' Up! does really well and I I'm looking for my bone folder, which I don't know what I did with. So just make sure you get a nice crease on your card base before you start applying all your layers so that it'll stand up properly. And we'll do that at the end. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the heat embossing. I'm going to take my vellum layer and then I have put my stamp block or my stamp on a stamp block. This is a photopolymer stamp and I love these because you can actually see through them so you can see where you're stamping and you can get that image exactly where you want it. And then you will need Versamark. This is a glue pad and we're going to be stamping this one in silver and an emboss buddy or any other tool you use to de-static things. That is what you'll be using. And if anyone's joined, I just want to say hello again. I'm still trying to figure out a few of these little things on Instagram Live and I'm not sure how to see comments. So, if anyone's here, thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. 
Now when you're stamping with photopolymer stamps, it's recommended to stamp on a uh, stamp and pierce mat, a magazine, or something that has a little bit of give in it because there's no cushion on the photopolymer stamp. So sometimes you don't get a super crisp image. Um, and people find that if you use these mats, it has a little bounce in it so you'll get a, a better image. All right. And I'm actually gonna put this right here because I will be stamping off the edges and I don't want to get the glue on my stamp and pierce mat. Now, I like to start when I'm doing this type of design in the middle so that I can gauge my, my edges right. Now for this card, I just did one in the middle and then I do another layer. You can do it like this, you can set your stamp down on it, whatever works for you. And then I'm actually gonna stick a darker piece under. When you're stamping vellum, it can be a little bit hard to see. And then I'm just gonna stamp it again right here. And then we'll stamp it again in the corner. And we'll go, I wanna make sure I don't double up my same stamp image and have it a little different. There we go. And I think I did exactly what I forgot to do. So we are going to flip this over because I was rushing. I talked about it and then I didn't use it. You wanna use your de-static <laughs> powder or brush or whatever you use. Um, the silver that I'm going to be using is very fine. And when you use that silver, um, it can leave a residue on the paper, whatever you're, you're heat embossing. So we're just gonna stamp this one more time and I can kind of see my images. So hopefully this will work out. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't have two pieces over here. We'll see what it looks like. If it looks terrible, then we'll try again. Uh, there we go. Did exactly what I was trying not to do, which was stamp two by the itself. All right, that's okay. I could grab another piece of vellum, but we'll just see what it looks like. If it doesn't work out, then we'll try again. All right. So then what you do is you take your powder, and again, we're gonna use silver for this card because I think it'll pair really well with the blue. I'm gonna cover up my Versamark. See how this works out. And as you can see, you should have a nice coating on your images. And if anyone's joined, hello. Let's see. All right, and then I like to take a little brush and just kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, on my white embossing powder, I actually have it in a little Tupperware dish. Um, I don't pull my silver out as often. Let's see, I feel like this needs a little bit right here. So then it makes less of a mess when you have it in a little self-contained container and I use a spoon to put it on. So then all I'm gonna do is make sure that as much of the excess powder is off and I'm going to go ahead and pour this back in here. That's why I like the little container and I'm working on switching all of my powders over. So actually my white, it's got a little couple things in it, but I keep it in a little container and then I have a little spoon that I put it on. So that works out really well. And again, if anyone's joined, thank you for joining me. I am still trying to figure out how to see the comments. There we go. And so we're gonna go ahead and heat emboss this. Now you wanna make sure you heat both sides, the front and the back. That way, that's not gonna work. All right, uh, yeah, you wanna make sure you heat the front and the back to keep the uh, vellum from warping. I actually got silver heat and bust powder on the back where we had the glue, so I'm just going to wipe that off real quick. There we go. So hopefully it won't show through too much. If you're just joining, I originally forgot to use my <laughs> emboss buddy to for the de-static powder when I first started stamping it, and then I needed to go back and do it, so I just flipped it over. So we are seeing if it's going to show through too much, because I did not have a second 
piece of vellum cut for a silly mistake like that. But that's okay. You can always fix it after. All right, so what you're looking for is you're looking for it to change to shiny. And there's one spot, there it goes. All right, so you're just looking for it to change from the powder consistency to shiny. And that's what we did. And again, if anyone's joined, hello, I appreciate you joining in. All right, so then I think it looks fine, so we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and leave it. And as a reminder, the card we're working on tonight, I did one with Cherry Cobbler and Gold and some DSP that's in the annual catalog. And for this one, we're gonna, I'm doing Silver, and I'm using Misty Moonlight, um, and this is paper that's going to be in the Celebrations catalog that's released on August 3rd. And I went ahead and cut the middle out just to get a little more use out of my uh, diamond paper because you are not going to see it. So that was the most difficult part, was getting those stamped. And for the silver powder, it's much finer than the gold. They're about the same, but when I stamped it, it filled in a little bit more. So it's actually a more solid star. In this one, you can see the details just a little bit more. Hello, everybody that's joining. I'm still trying to figure out comments, so I appreciate you. If you are here, I won't be able to respond because I'm still trying to figure out how to do that on an Instagram Live. All right, so the next step, we're going to heat emboss our sentiment as well. So we're going to need our little piece of paper back. And I'm actually going to go ahead and do this in black. And this time I'm going to use my emboss buddy first. Use your static powder, static brush, whatever you have in your supply arsenal. And I'm going to be using... The Twinkle Twinkle Christmas Star. It fits really well on this die from the Seasonal Labels dies. Let's see. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. All right, so we've got a few people here. It's wonderful to see people joining. My husband's kind of helping me out with comments tonight so I can figure that out. We're learning how to do Instagram Lives. I've done a few Facebook Lives, but I haven't really gone to Instagram Live. Um, so definitely a learning process and I'm very excited. So again, we're gonna use our Versamark and then I just put my sentiment on my clear block. I'm just gonna line it up as best as possible. Uh, you can use a Stamparatus, uh, whichever you prefer. I like my Stamparatus, but I had it on a clear block earlier. Sometimes I just grab whatever's closest. All right, that's not too bad. And then I am going to use the black heat embossed powder on my sentiment. And this is Twinkle Twinkle Christmas Star. It's very pretty. All right. Thank you, Olga. I'm starting to see comments now. My husband's helping me out. <laughs> so I appreciate everyone that's here. All right. Just pour it back in. And I'm going to put the lid on that so I don't knock it over and spill it everywhere. That has happened. Not fun. All right. Then we're just going to heat sentiment again make sure you heat the front and the back to avoid the warping here we go and this tool has a heat setting one and two um, if you find that your paper is getting a little discolored you can go ahead and change it down to setting one I find myself always on setting two with the darker papers, it starts to change the paper a little bit, but it usually just kind of goes back. And then make sure you're heating the back and the front. I'm going to turn that back up so you can, uh, just to watch it change. Um, keep that evenly in the front and the back so that you don't warp your paper. Just waiting a little bit more. We're almost there. Our Christmas needs a little work. I thought about doing one of these ahead of time, but I decided I would do it while we're on. All right, looks good, just making sure. All right, so then we will assemble the card. It's actually a pretty quick card. Um, I think any card's pretty quick once you've already figured out the design and you're just sharing how to put it together. I'm gonna use my multi-purpose glue. If you have 
stamp and seal or ATG you can use those I just like to use my glue um, but always remember don't put too much because it will seep through if you put too much and then you'll have it on the edges of your card and you'll wonder what happened all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down this will be my base layer I'm gonna keep looking back at my sample to make sure I've got it at the right angle all right so then the way I put my vellum on I used my stamp and seal and I just kind of put little dots on the back of the big parts of the stars that way you don't see through it on the vellum um, if you have another specialty tape use that if you use the glue it tends to warp the vellum a little bit and then you're not able to get the, the look that you were going for because sometimes it'll get too too warpy and if I find that my image is a little bit small sometimes I'll just roll the tape into the middle of the image uh, so that you don't see it through your vellum sometimes it can be a little fiddly uh, but it works really well in the end um, and then you don't have to see all the adhesive on the back of it all right trying to make sure I got them all I really want this card this vellum to stay in place there we go okay so then I'm gonna take this And I'm going to put it right in the middle of my designer series paper and this paper is so much fun There's lots of uh, fun patterns in this pack of paper that you can earn um, with a $50 purchase yeah papers $50 purchase uh, if you purchase through Stampin' Up uh, through through me um, you can earn it from Stampin' Up and again it has the penguins on the back side and they're they're really cute and you have the little fox and a snowman it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, playing with the rest of this all right and then just kind of do it a little bit askew so that you have your dazzling diamond paper showing through the back another celebrations item that'll be released on August 3rd I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue and if you're wondering why my center's cut out, get a little more out of your product because it's going to be covered and nobody's going to notice. Thank you. It is a pretty card. I, I was a little earlier when I was making the other one, I was going back and forth and I'm like, I think I'll do one in blue and one in red and see how it goes. <laughs> it's working out. There we go. All right. So then I used my banner punch and I just kind of cropped I cut a I think it's three I think it's a half inch quarter half inch measurements will be on my blog tomorrow um, I just kind of made sure I had it in the middle that's the wrong side here we go nope that was the right side okay and then just kind of make sure the point is right Sometimes I cut my paper a little small. It has different measurements here. Sometimes I cut mine a little bit small, and so I just kind of I like to eyeball it and make sure it looks pretty even. And then you just use your punch. A lot of people can cut these tails with their scissors. I never manage to get equal portions, ever. So I like to use my punch. All right. I'm going to add some glue, some multi-purpose adhesive to the middle again thank you all right and then I'm just gonna put this here and we're gonna use dimensionals and pop this up all right keep them in a little case on my desk and I put them away earlier sometimes I clean up the random things and realize I still need them all right make those little backs come off still it's got to dry a little bit more all right you know what this paper has a lot of grain in it a lot of little divots which is where you get that pretty shiny shimmer so you want to use a good amount of glue I might even suggest using your stamp and seal on this part 
Um, I didn't use this kind of shiny, this paper. I used gold on the other one, so I didn't have a sticking issue. And then just kind of line it up where you want it, where you think it looks good. All right. And then for this one, I'm actually going to use my Elegant Faceted Gems. On the other one, I used the metallic, what are they called? Let's see this again. Brush metallic adhesive back dots, which will be in the August 3rd catalog, um, the mini catalog. I use that on this one. So on this one, I'm going to use my Elegant Faceted Gems. I'm thinking I'm going to use the clear, but first I'm going to see if I like the white. I hadn't made a full decision yet. Now on this card, I have the uh, stars going this way instead of this way. Mostly because I didn't realize I put it backwards. But that's okay, because it's still cute. I think we'll go here. I'm going to pull that and push it up. And I think I like it with those. Yeah, I like it with the white. It helps it stand out a little bit. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the tiniest dot of glue. I'm going to suggest on the Dazzling Diamonds paper, if you're adhering anything to it, use your tape. Um, the glue seems to be going into the little divots. This is the first time I'm playing with the, the diamond paper, so learning experience here. So I'm going to use a little bit of glue, and as you can kind of see, it's got it kind of spreads a little bit. I just kind of pull it and play with it until I see that line start to disappear, but that it's still attached. Um, again, I like to hide all of my adhesives behind things and it'll dry a little bit more. And then this guy, I didn't get any, any uh, tape on him. So it's sticking up on the edge and I like my edges of my vellum to be down. So I'm just gonna pull a little off of my tape, attach it, I missed that one. There we go. And then sometimes what I'll do is I'll take my finger and I'll put a little glue and then I'll just go around the edges, the very edges, and then it'll help the vellum to stay down. I'm more concerned about the diamond paper. We're gonna let it dry for a little bit and I'll, I'll post a comment tomorrow and let you know if it stayed or did not stay. Um, right now I'm thinking that using your stamp and seal on the diamond paper is gonna be best. All right, so this is what this looks like. Let me just stamp the inside real quick. I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. I also forgot that. Good times, good times. All right. Thank you, Olga, I appreciate that. The silver and blue paper together is really pretty. That's always been a, a Christmas uh, color system that I like. All right, so real quick, I'm going to stamp my stars. I'm going to stamp them in Misty Moonlight on the inside. Just going to grab my paper that I lost. Okay. Just don't want to get ink all over my stamp and pierce mat. And then a little ink. And you can decide where you want to put it. I think for this I like a little bit of the big star and some of the small stars. And then just be careful when you get ink in the centers that you don't get it on your paper. Luckily, paper has two sides and you can always flip it over. All right. I do like the blue one. It is very pretty. I think I think um, the Dazzling Diamonds paper just sets the whole tone for the card and it makes it look really nice. All right. The stars are shining brightly. Let's go ahead and use that sentiment for the inside. I tend to forget my insides. I also have this one, uh, Christmas to Remember. It has a lot of different sentiments that could be used for the inside. Actually, I think I'm going to go with Friends Like You Make This Season. I like that one for this. Change my mind. Switch it up. Friends Like You. All right. So this is a red rubber stamp, uh, cling stamp, sorry, this is a cling stamp, and you will not be able to see through the back, which is okay. Um, for these, I like to use, for sentiments for this, I like to use my stamparatus, but I'm gonna wing it and we'll see how it goes. We're also gonna stamp this in the misty moonlight. 
Um, you have words that are included, word stickers that are included with your stamp sets that you can put on the back of your stamp and it'll help you visualize the lineup better. Um, personally, I am terrible at getting those on, so I tend to wing it. Again, there's two sides. Now I've got a little bit of ink right here and normally I would wipe it off, but I did not get my little purple square rectangle uh, wet before I sat down, so that's okay. We're gonna wing it tonight. All right, wish me luck. And down and straight up. It's a little crooked and I'm okay with that. When they're a little crooked, I simply adhere them on the inside of the card crooked. If you are a perfectionist, please redo it. It'll drive you crazy. I am not a perfectionist, so I am okay with it. All right. I'm just gonna open up the inside of the card and then I just adhere it so that it's askew. And then it being crooked isn't really as noticeable. So if you ever end up with a card for me, it's probably gonna be a, a skew inside. And then again, on these, when the corners stick up like that, I just take a little glue, just enough to give it, there we go. All right, so that is our finished card. And I will go ahead and put the other card. It'll take a minute, but it'll stay. All right, I will let you know tomorrow if this adhered well or if you really should just use your stamp and seal. I'll have the measurements up on my blog. I hope you like this card. I had a lot of fun making it and I appreciate your patience with me while I figure out Instagram Live. And then here's the red and gold one. Cherry Cobbler, let me say that correctly. Cherry Cobbler, Misty Moonlight. All right, I hope you like these products. I'm gonna flip this back over. Perfect. Well, I would like to thank everybody who joined tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, as I figure out Instagram Live more, I'll be on popping on and off more. And I appreciate your time tonight. And all these products are Stampin' Up! products. Um, great quality and, again, coordination through products and colors. If your DSP is blue, it's going to be Night and Navy or it's going to be Misty Moonlight. And it's going to be perfect for anything you need to pair with it. You're going to have your... Your card bases and your DSP is all going to match and your projects are going to look fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this and I will jump back on later this week with another live and another card. Check my blog tomorrow for measurements. Have a great night guys. Thanks for joining.